And of course, we're going to get to see it on SmackDown this Friday. But basically, uh, we've been told that it's an enhanced live experience with lasers, pyrotechnics, some would call it ballyhoo, LED screens <laughs> with fans on the screens, etc. Like, so basically, this looks like an interactive experience. And I want to I want to know as a performer that has basically been in the performance center for the last several months. Uh, not necessarily with fans or paying ticket mm -hmm. holders. Now they have a chance to interact. So how much are you looking forward to having that element back? Well, I can, I can just be honest and just, if I'm speaking as me, man, I miss the fans. Like, oh Lord, do I miss the fans. Like uh, having them and screaming and yelling, whether they love or hate you, blah, 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 man. It's just, it's, it's, it's brought a different feeling to this. And it's uh, also brought a different approach as to the things you would do and the things you would try, you know? So it's been this wonderful, like, creative experience without them, but I'm happy to have them back in whatever capacity we can have them back in. <laughs> so I'm pretty pumped. So actually, one of your former competitors, uh, even at WrestleMania, John Cena, actually had a lot of praise for you and said, you know, of of two of the superstars that I would point to that really shined in that era of no audience, uh, Bray Wyatt is certainly one of them. What do you make of that praise? John's such a sweet guy, isn't he? What a sweet guy <laughs> that John Cena is. What a sweet, sweet guy. Well, it's, you know, I, I've been through so much with John Cena. You know, it's it's amazing to me to see him, you know, from what the star he always it was. like. I stepped through a door and then, <laughs> I'm not kidding, 48 hours just <laughs> erased my mind. And it was like... <laughs> It was like I was, I teleported to another place in time. It was pretty wild, dude. Uh, from what I remember, it was, it was pretty wild. How much are cinematic matches important to you? How many more of those kind of presentations would you like in your future matches? Well, I think they're fun and all, but like I said, I like, I like being around the people more. And, and those things, uh, they, should be, they should be select. There should be a few here and there, and that's what keeps them special, you know, especially after the humdinger that uh, Undertaker and AJ Styles put together because that thing's close to undefeatable. So, look, to be fair, it had Undertaker and AJ Styles in it, but, you know, it's something that uh, you get to approach differently, so it's, it's wonderful for your creativity, but they should be finite. Well, listen, the Thunderdome is coming starting SmackDown, basically a mini residency, at least oh. as far as we know. Tons of events happening at the Thunderdome, including SummerSlam this Sunday. So let's talk about SummerSlam. When you look back on SummerSlam, you've had quite a few matches, uh, definitely against Finn Balor. Now you're having one against Braun Strowman. How do you look back on your SummerSlam matches? Do you have any favorites of your own? I, I can remember the one where, uh where actually Bray debuted and uh, a pretty interesting one, you know, where uh, it was, it was. I welcome you guys back on here. If you're new, consider subscribing, liking, and also share this video. So now we are still commemorating, paying tributes to the legend that is Bray Ward, whose real name is Winam Rotunda, who actually passed away according to what the WWE chief, that is uh, the content officer, Paul Triple H Levisky, what he came out to release on social media to announce the passing on of the legend that is Bray Wyatt. Um, it's really very devastating. This is a man who was really loved within the WWE, SmackDown, and all other franchises because of his demeanor. He, I mean, because of his uh, character, his charisma, his personality um, was really out of this world. So it's really very heartbreaking seeing this devastating news um the news arrived accompanied with the statement that was released by um <clears throat> uh, the content officer that is triple h he came out on social media and said that um, he received a call from the wwe hall of famer that is mike rotunda who actually informed the world of this tragic very devastating news that a family member of wwe that is bray Wyatt had passed away um no cause of death 
uh, officially has been released yet but of course we are receiving snippets of rumors that i was struggling with health related issues um for the past couple of months there were rumors when he's disappeared promptly uh, from the WWE. Actually, he was supposed to perform at the beginning of August and early on in around June and July, but he did not appear despite being on the list of those who were supposed to perform. So um, rumors started circulating that he had left the franchise and stuff like that. But of course, um, later on, it was confirmed that he had some health related issues he was dealing with. So he decided to take a break. So um, up to now, when he passed on, he, he, he actually never returned into the ring. Um, but of course, this is a man who is going to be so much missed within the modern day WWE performances. Actually, he's been regarded as one of those guys who were actually very legendary, very charismatic, very huge when it came to the modern day players within WWE. So his passing on actually leaves a huge dent for me, in my opinion. Um, he's been regarded as, actually, he's been one of those guys who are who are actually uh, holding um, WWE to this huge level. It's art in this exact moment in time. So pass, his passing on is going to leave a very huge gap um, within WWE WrestleMania and of course SmackDown. Um, so we are still paying tributes. We are seeing so many people within the um, uh, the wrestling world coming out to pay their tributes, to pay their eulogy, and of course send tributes to the family, the wife, uh, the kids, and also the fans globally who really loved and cherished this huge man that is Bray. So we'll be sending our messages of condolences, tributes, and of course prayers to the family and those who are so much close to the legend that is brave.